Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I got around a problem accessing the web interface of an old printer on my network. So I have two printers, there's this one here which is an M521DN which I can access using 10.1.1.151 which is the IP address it's on. And I also have another printer which is on .150 but it's an older printer and it used to be able to access it uh, before using ordinary browsers but now the, um, it's got an unsupported protocol because it's too old and I'm sick of having to try to find like a Windows XP machine and use IE or something like that to connect to the printer and I found now there is a way to get around the problem using a reverse proxy and um, using the Nginx um, software as the reverse proxy so I thought I'd show you how I did, can do that because it might be useful if you have a similar situation with an old printer so to resolve this issue, what the first thing I did is I went to the Nginx website and then I went to download and I'll go to the stable version area and pick the Windows installer download. Once that's done, then we can go to our downloads folder and extract the zip. And now we have the Nginx um, software available to use and it's basically a web server so if I fire it up uh, like this by running it from there and I go to my local host address which is 127.0.0.1 or uh, like so then we get the welcome to nginx web page and basically this is a web server you could also just type local host the same thing or go to this the same web page uh, and the configuration file for it, or one of them that's important in this case, is in the conf folder, and it is nginx.conf. So let's have a look at that um, configuration file. And basically what it's doing is, in this HTTP setup area, it has a server set up to listen on port 80 on localhost, and if any traffic is received there, then it will go to the index.html file and display that. So that index.html file is sitting in here. And if I edit that, you can see it's got the welcome to Nginx, blah, 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 etc. So if I wanted to change that web page just for the sake of it, I could do this, save it, uh, close the index page, and run it up again, I might just control F5 it, and you can see and now it's got that extra bit of text in the web page. Anyway, it's a web server. What's really cool about it though is it also can be used as a reverse proxy. So what you can do is you can uh, come into the area of the HTTP again, make sure you're not outside of the bracket there, and I'm just going to paste in some config that I set up earlier, and I'm going to put it here. So what it's saying now is also, listen on port 81, and any traffic that's going there, or which is the local host, send that through to this IP address, or this URL, using HTTPS. Um, one time when I did this, I had to also include this proxy HTTP version 1.1. We'll see whether we need to do that this time or not. So I'm going to save the config file and I'm going to go to this folder where Nginx is installed um, call the help for it and it's yeah it's dash s so Nginx dash s and then I think it's reload it might be re reopen I honestly can't remember which ones I'm just gonna hit both of them and that should have restarted the site so there we go there now if I go to localhost port 81 now I'm getting through to the web page from my my printer that was on that 192 dot oh, sorry on that 10.1.1.150 address here and it's getting around that problem of the out-of-date um, security protocol or TLS or whatever the issue was. So this is a cool way to be able to circumvent that issue um, using Nginx as a reverse proxy. Okay, thanks very much for watching.